Hello everyone. Happy Saturday from Athens. It is the last day of April and I decided that today I would come up to Philippopo Hill. Normally it's still pretty green. I don't know, I'm not over here, I'm not sure. When I lived over in Kolonaki, it was usually still a little bit green. I think I've missed it. Um, I didn't come out a lot in March because it was so just cold still. So I think I either the spring flowers didn't come because it was so cold or I missed it. Um, in last week's video in Tinos, spring was everywhere and it was stunning. And Athens is already dried up for the summer, but it's still really nice weather. And if you can hear, the birds are very happy today. So as you can see, it's already dry and brown. It's so funny though, because it really hasn't been that hot. So I guess it's just the lack of rain and, you know, uh, seasons. You know, the plants know the seasons better than we do. So <laughs> they're like, no, no, we're done. <laughs> anyway, not uh, still not in super great shape. So I'm not gonna do a huge amount of walking up here, but I wanted to come up here and see what it looks like. I need to come up here more often and enjoy my neighborhood, uh, my new neighborhood. Last time I came up here, I went right towards the Acropolis and today I went left. Look at all those cacti. There are tons of them. Some plants like the dryness, don't they? Here's some more. I just saw some people mountain biking by. Uh, there aren't tons of people so far. I am seeing a hill that I have never seen before. It's very small, kind of smack over there in the middle of all the buildings. I see a trail. I may have to go investigate that one day. I'm not exactly sure that might be Calathea. Although I didn't think I'd walked that far south on the hill. <laughs> so I'm not sure what that is. I will find out and put it down on the screen if I can find out. And you can see the sea. I can see the Stavros Niarcos Foundation, which you probably can't see. Oh, wow, it's nice and clear today. I came up on this back side of this rock and I found this tiny little church. And I did find some poppies that haven't completely wilted away in the sun. But the little church is adorable and clearly somebody's coming to take care of it. The plants are a little bit wilted. Maybe they were away over Easter. But I wanna show you this side of the hill. The rock is like textured in a way that it looks like water has run down the side for a really long time. It almost looks like the inside of a cave rather than the rock. And it makes me think that it, when it rains, that water must come down through here. And there's a crack in the rock here where it probably comes down. So that's very, very cool. Look at, look at this. Looks like almost like stalactites. Stalagmites? I don't know which ones it would be up or down, but it's like eating away at the rock. Right, the fun is over. I now need to go do some Saturday errands. And one of those things is I need to go research buying an air conditioner for my living room because while it's not hot yet, it is certainly stuffy in my living room. Oh, oh, it's just a bird. I thought I heard a wild animal. <laughs> I thought, I'm hoping what, when I lived on Lake Betos, the, I saw turtles all the time. So I was hoping I might see turtles over here, but not yet. Anyway, so today's adventure is going to go see about an air conditioner. I am at the, I guess it's like a hardware store and I have already bought the air conditioner and now I'm just walking around because they have all sorts of stuff for the house just to see if there's anything that I need because as we know, I need lots of things for my house. So if you don't want to go to Ikea, this is a nice alternative. Well, they made that it, it, very easy. Like, went in, picked the one I want, I took my address, I went to the cashier and paid, and I'm done. 
Uh, it'll get delivered in about four days and then four days after that they'll come to install it. So that was probably the easiest thing I've done here. So in case you guys are wondering, I got a 12,000 BTU unit. This is for my living room, so it should be plenty. I could have probably gone with 9,000, but when it's 40 degrees here in the summer, I don't want to take the chance that it's not going to be strong enough. Um, and the price difference really wasn't that much. I think it was like 50 or 60 euros in price difference, which to me, not really that much of a savings to potentially be sweating. So in about two weeks, I should at least have an air conditioner in the living room and I will be all set to not die this summer. The only thing about the Leroy Merlin is I thought they had more furniture than they did. They don't, it's really like, you know, more like a home improvement store, which is fine. They had some outdoor furniture, so I'll probably go back and buy something for my balcony at some point. The Leroy Merlin that I went to is the one here in Envelocopy. Uh, so you can either go to the Envelocopy metro station walk down, or go to the Meguro Musiki uh, metro station and walk up super easy. Everybody spoke English, which in the Ikea is not always the case. <laughs> It's been a little bit warm during the day and nice and cool in the evenings. I've been sleeping with my bedroom doors cracked. I woke up to this lovely sound of rain this morning. So maybe the hill will get a little bit greener. Happy Cinco de Mayo from Greece. <laughs> so a friend invited me to go uh, celebrate Cinco de Mayo at a Mexican food place. Um, actually in Kukaki that I have walked by a million times that I have never been in, so we're gonna go check it out. Okay, as a Texan, I have to say the margarita passes the test. It's pretty good. It's just lacking ice, but that's okay. It's still really good. All right, we have nachos that look amazing and chimichanga. Did you get chicken? Chicken chimichanga, which looks fabulous. And I haven't had a chimichanga in years, even Mexican rice. We have moved on to another place that you guys have seen me come to before, this place. And we're having fancy cock, well, my friend is having a fancy cocktail. I'm having wine. So last night's dinner was pretty good from the Texan standards and the margarita was pretty darn good. It's probably the best margarita I've had outside of Texas. So that's pretty good. The only thing it was lacking is it didn't have ice in it. It did, my friend ordered this giant liter of margarita and it came with ice. So next time if I go, I'm gonna say, can you put ice in my margarita? But otherwise, really good. It's Friday now, so I'm going to the street market. It does seem that now that it's spring, there are more vendors than there normally are, so it's really nice. I've already spotted a few things that I'm gonna get today. I forgot my list at home, so I'm hoping I remember everything. So one of the things that I've really tried to be getting lately at the street market is eggs, because a half a dozen eggs at the supermarket the other day was two euros and 73 cents, so that was the cheapest one and I bought a dozen eggs today in the street market and it was one euro and 70 cents. So it's like a euro savings. And I know that's not a lot, but I'm not really sure why you get double the amount for half the cost. That's a big discrepancy. So I bought more than I normally do. I do normally only buy a half a dozen eggs, but I decided it wasn't really worth it to try to like make six eggs last for a week. So here we are. Let's see if I eat all of them. And one of the other things that I really like to buy at the street market is fresh flowers. I bought two bunches and they were three euros each. I paid six euros for this. I think that's a really good deal. I am going to be doing a cost of living review um, because of all the price changes that have happened since the last time I made one of these. And I think it was about two years ago. 
Um, I'm still waiting to see what some of my bills are gonna be like, uh, but stay tuned for that. And if you're interested, make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss it. The other exciting thing that happened is that the air conditioner got delivered yesterday. I am a little concerned because it's supposed to be mounted to the outside of the building and it requires brackets for that. And I told them that that's where it needed to go. Now, I have been told the brackets are included. I don't know if they're in the box or if the installation people are going to bring them. So, and I don't think that that part of the video, I don't, sorry, I don't think that will make it into this week's video. So I will update you next time. And what I think is interesting is that the place that I bought it from, they deliver it and then four days later, someone comes to install it. Um, and you don't really have any control, I don't think, over when they're coming. I definitely didn't have any control over when they delivered. They sent me a text message and they said, we'll be there tomorrow between 11 and one. And they called me and told me they were about an hour away. And then they called me and said they were five minutes away. What I didn't realize is they expected me to bring these boxes up to my apartment. So there was a little bit of a, an argument about that. I got them to at least put it in the elevator for me. Um, the wall unit isn't, doesn't weigh anything, which I had no idea. I thought they weighed a lot more, but they weigh nothing. But the outside unit does weigh a lot. Um, so I just slowly pushed it through the hallway into my apartment. And that's why it's just sitting here in the hallway in my apartment. Thank goodness my apartment is still empty because otherwise, I don't know where you'd put all that. I came down to Sigtagma to do some shopping and they're filming a movie or something in the square. And so you're not allowed to walk through it. And it's like this totally weird fake scene with like cafe chairs inside. I can't film because they're like super hawk watching. They have someone like every five feet making sure that you don't go in and that you don't take pictures. It's interesting. I've not seen that here before. Okay, so I can film a little bit more across the street. I really don't know what's happening over there. I haven't gone over to look and investigate. Uh, but I will tell you, there are tons of tourists. I have walked by people with tons of suitcases and seen lots of big tour buses already. It's another lovely day here in Athens. I'm walking to go meet a friend for a brunch this morning over in Plaka. Oh, and it's so nice and everyone is out. It's beautiful. And an untypical fashion of me, I'm running slightly late, which in, you know, kind of stresses me out. <laughs> um, but particularly because the best way for me to get down here is to walk. Um, there really isn't a better option for me to get down to Plaka, which is fine. I like to walk, but I'm running late. So this is the view from where we're at, and it's very lovely today. The sky is not blue, but it's still a really nice day. And then we have a wonderful view. So this is my friend Rebecca, and this is the person I met for lunch. Rebecca also has a travel blog and a book, which she's got on her bag, Girl Gone Greek. So we've decided we would do a little bit of exploring of Plaka, because even though we've lived here forever, there's still places to discover up here. Of course, as you walk through, you always get glimpses, glimpses of the Acropolis Hill. This is a steep view. You can't see the Parthenon, but it's still nice. So this is one of the reasons I recommend that you walk around without a plan, because sometimes you run into little pictures of the past here. Now there's no sign telling you what it is, but it's still really cool that just like in the middle of this is this historic site that they've like protected. I'm pretty sure it's the old city wall though. such a nice week but I feel like I've done a lot and I'm really tired so that's gonna be it for this week thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video